I'm Johnny. No, I'm Johnny. I'm, I'm, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> and it's time for, for bunnies. bunnies. Thanks, Dustin, for the help out with the intro. This one's going to be a little bit different. We're going to do some walking. As you probably know, I've been playing this game called Ingress. And this video is not about that. But one of the side effects of Ingress is that it's made public art for me a lot more visible. And I've been doing a lot of thinking about that. And a lot of thinking about art and community. And how there's a real disconnect between our networked community and our meat space community. I work in Mission and I live in the far flung burbs, but I don't feel like I have a whole lot in common with the people that live and work around me. So now we're going to this brutal election and I, along with the people around me, are going to vote in a member of parliament who's going to represent us, theoretically. But again, I don't necessarily feel like I'm part of that. And where I am, it seems like the old guard, the conservatives, are just assuming that they're going to get in. They always have. So why would it be any different this time around? It's not that they aren't trying. It's that they're not even showing up. And here we are. This whole country is arguing about economics and the vanishing middle class. When it's things like water and climate that matters. Things are getting dire, or it feels that way. I think we're going to need to get really creative to get ourselves out of the mess that we're in. And I don't think the old ways are going to work anymore. So I went for this walk, and I found these giant bunnies in the middle of a park. And the artist who built this installation uses the bunnies to draw in a crowd, and then BAM! We have to face the effects of our forefathers' colonialism. She even says it too. She builds these happy bunnies as kind of a candy-coated shell. As an aside, the artist chose five bunnies. Remember, kids, law of fives. So this bunny installation was part of something called Beakerhead, which is this thing that started in Calgary. And... It's really like this invasion of burner culture into the mainstream, which is kind of cool. This is the seat of the federal conservatives. Our prime minister's home riding is in this town, and yet this town elected a Muslim mayor and a socialist provincial government. So this beakerhead is this weird amalgamation of burner culture that is also sponsored by oil companies. It's very odd. I know this one's kind of rambling. And when the experts do it, these little journeys and walks, they have some sort of fundamental truth at the end of it all. And I mean, I just went and saw some bunnies and had some thoughts about some stuff. If there's one lesson that I want to take away from today, that is, Never forget 